Hello everybody, I am here to show you how to make the lantern from uh, paper rolls. So we have to start with this classic Japanese base, which we're going to be making out of our rolls, not from cardboard. And I'm going to start by a bit of glue on one of these and we're gonna start the same way as we do for the gnome place it underneath four and you get out over the four underneath the next four over the next four and under. So we've done one round just like that. We need to do three. One. This is our second one. Extend your row if you need to. And carry on. Now we got all three rounds. Press it down nicely so it's nice and flat. These rolls are colored by coffee. So once we have done them three times, now we start separating them in twos. So we bend this one over and put them, obviously, we need to extend it. Put one underneath here. That's it. Now we do the classic weaving under, one under, one over. Again, separate them two, one under, and one over. Under and over and keep doing this until you separated all fours into tools and go around go around three times so once you've done it three times need to extend the rolls again Now, once you've done it three times, we will start to separate the pair into one row. So one under, one over, one under, this one over. Let's separate them two, again under, the other one over. Keep separating them in ones until desired size. So once you have it the size you need, my size is about just slightly, slightly over, then is the jar. Then you turn it over and extend the base rolls. Up. 
So once you extend them, you lift them up and you peg them to the top of the chart. So you can start weaving nicely around it. So you need to extend all your base, base rolls, keep these two where they are. And once they extend it, we can start weaving around the, around the jar. So once we have them all picked up, extended, we just put an extra one here and we do our classic three, three roll pattern weaving around to cover the base sort of what we're using for covering base. So we start with the first one over the two. Just like this, behind the third one. So we unpeg it, put it behind, peg it back up. Okay. So next, and press it down. Next one, again, same pattern, different row, but it's always the first one on the left. So first one, it's about here, over the two, one and two behind this third one. When they're falling down, be careful so you don't put it behind the wrong one. Okay. Bit tricky. Again, so we got two of them. Now, again, first one on the left, over them two, one, two, behind this third one. So we bend it over nicely, put it behind that one, take it back up. And we keep going like this, create this nice three roll thicker pattern all around the base. So once you get to the point where you started, where is for me it's over here, that's the last one, first one of three, you need to go the other way. So you don't go with first, but with last, over the two, behind the third one. And that makes your row stay on the top of the last row here. So now we take the second over them two behind the third one. And again, that makes your row stay on the top. And then first one over them two behind the third one. And it makes your row stay on the top. So that's, we finish the first whole row like that with the three rows. And we can do two, three, as many rows as you want. Normally I do just one. So you just basically separate the base from the sides. Now we carry on just with two of them, two of them. One be, uh, we start with the left hand side one, so one behind. This one stays in front, so we put it behind. We ignore the third one. Carry on working with your two only, just like that. Carry on like that, all the way around. I think your pecs. Might not need to be there anymore, depends. You will see. So carry on and try to push it as close to the glass, as close to the jar as possible. So it's nice and locked in there. So whatever jar you're going to use, just wash it before you use it because you won't be able to take it out anymore. So when you lose. When you use a candle, it should be fire safety. Fire safe because it's in a glass. There we go. Extend our rows. And we keep weaving this way until we've got the desired height for our jar. I think um, we'll make at least five, five rows. So when we get to the point, we go back to the one we just ignored. I'm doing second round. 
what we do just cut it as close as close as possible and you just carry on weaving about this height so once you've done the desired height it should look like this this is our bottom it's lantern so we are happy if the if there is a few things now next thing you can do a few patterns you can cross these base rolls like this just like that and start weaving from the top and you're gonna have that pattern but this time i will start with them being nice and straight up here and again i will start with you can choose any roll so i bend it one roll in a half i start right at the bottom here so i leave one little space if you need some kind of uh, guide you can put a cardboard in there first so it keeps you up in the same height but i'm gonna keep looking we just carry on Need to make sure it's all nice and tight close to that jar it's not too loose a bit higher than i want it so i can push it down you can push it up and down while it's still wet that's it that's where we get to to the end, put it behind. Oops. That one in front. Now we can finish here. The last one, uh, the last roll I finished and I stuck it behind. So you can see that. So I'm going to try to do the same with this, these ones. I'm going to chop off that one. One's going to finish here, one there. And then I'm going to do another one a bit higher up. I'm going to cut this here. Go. This one over here. And go. I think it's not stay there, but it will. It's quite good. Now I'm going to have a look if I got them the height i need once i need now i'm gonna start another row another row like this just about that So I finished here, I chopped them off, I checked if it's nice and same height and I'm gonna start somewhere else this time. Let's say I'm gonna try on this one. Same process. Start weaving just above. As high as you want. And as close as possible and all the way around so i have done one two third round and on the third one i'm not gonna stop here i'm just gonna carry on 
and cover up the whole jar until the top. With a classic pattern as usual. And that makes me to have three squares for the light for the light to go through the lantern. Carry on weaving all the way around until almost the top. And then I show you how to finish it. So once you got to the top, it should look something like this. There you go. I finished somewhere over here. I didn't extend my rows, I just finished randomly how they worked out. Stick them on, or if they're a bit longer, just cut them off But after you finish the... So these are all your base rows. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with any of, start with any you like. Just bend left hand side over, like that, behind the next one, just like that. So this one, bend it over, and behind that one. We're going to keep doing that with all of them, all the way around. So this one is last one to bend, but there is no one, none of them standing anymore. So we need to. Pull it over through the hole here, just, just like that. Because these base rolls, you didn't water them, they're a bit stiff. You can water them before you start working with them, it's up to you. I didn't because they got the tendency to break. So now it looks something like that. And again, you can choose any of these. To start to carry on. So this one, bend it underneath the next one, just like that, and pull it through the hole like this. There you go. And we'll we'll be coming out this way. We need to do it with all of them, all the way around. Just like that. This one's the next. Bend it underneath. That is the hole we're gonna pull it through. So pull, pull it, put it in, and just pull it through like that. Lovely. So you got three, and then three like that. So this is next one under, and this is the next hole to pull it through. Then what's left to do is just cut them off. If you want to do it all together, you can, or just as you go, it's up to you. But cut them like this, push them behind, and they should stay like that. Hidden nicely, just like this. So do the do the do it same way all the way around again. So I went all the way around. How do you know which ones you done? It is the one outside you haven't done yet. The one inside you done it. So this is the last one. This is my one bended over going through the hole. So I go underneath that one here. Yeah. So you go basically under them too to do the last one. I have cut these ones off earlier. Otherwise it would be there. So again. Pull it all the way through. That forms you. This kind of pattern go all the way around your lantern. So once you have it all like that, you can start cutting them all off. And all you've got left to do is uh, treat it with the, I would say, uh, Wood glue, 
and easy mixed up with water or PVA glue mixed up with water. Then you can decorate it with anything you like, basically. So there we go. And job done. You can push them all in. Nice. This is your lantern. You can put a tea light candle in there. That's how it looks. And hopefully you have a good crafting and have a go. Bye.